just want to understand the first thing how does one uh, become a chef what are the different ways uh, to become a chef uh, i mean we have lot of various uh, varieties like uh, you can, one can join the college you can do mm-hmm. is hotel management or they can do a diploma and nowadays we have lot of craft courses also where they can just pass their 10th uh, 10th standard and then they can join or they can have a proper degree by finishing the 12th and then right. doing a four years uh, course even uh, we have nowadays we have uh, expertise uh, courses abroad like a uh, malaysian uh, pastry school and all where you can join there and they uh, they um, i mean uh, they create you into a a different mode that uh, once you have finished that you can def- definitely be a talented chef okay there a lot of ways nowadays it's been modernized nowadays but but when when you started off how how difficult was it uh, to become a chef you yeah, know because uh, f- yeah frankly speaking uh, when i started it was uh, quite difficult but that time it was not so famous like right. personally for me uh, it was only sanjeev kapoor which was coming to tv shows which inspired me to become a chef <laughs> i thought let me also try try something uh, cooking initially right. then i saw my mom cooking at all usually all the chefs said that we have learned from my mom and right. definitely we, we because that is our first mode of uh, contact towards a kitchen because right. when we feel hungry we go towards a kitchen and where mom is there and we try to uh, copy her and try to make at least maggi or roti coffee or and come on uh, i should uh, i should probably uh, ask you towards the end of the show who's your favorite chef i mean except for your mom of course uh, so uh, sure, so sure. probably okay so uh, i mean there are different ways right now there are specialized culinary schools uh, it's not just into hotel management that you kind of go into and and yeah. become a chef right so there are specialized schools for learning this yes. culinary arts right so that that's that, that's right a chef should be always ready to take any sort of challenges right. because uh, uh, there's a different trends happening and we are we are dealing with a uh, different food is a perception like you right. may be liking some food i may be liking other food and our perception will different so you should have that uh, zeal in you a passion in you to accept challenges to take criticism like definitely every dish we, which you create will not be the best for the customer so you have, you should be ready to take the criticism also and the um, uh, main thing is the taste you should okay. have that uh, palate Okay. for the taste of this one then like a mixing of combination of different ingredients or different herbs or uh, spices you should be knowing that what is the best taste which comes along with this this is a uh, two things and third thing you should accept your failures Oh, okay. a chef should be ready to accept your failure also because definitely in any dish which you are cooking like example mm. i have so many years of experience that doesn't mean that any dish i cook will be perfect so definitely there will be failures so i should be in a position to accept the failures also and how to rectify those failures so these wow. three things are the main thing what i feel the chef should uh, possess you moved into um, a line catering now and you had a pnl over there so which is very different from what you used to do maybe at a five star hotel uh right so so for for an executive chef to uh, for a chef to become an executive chef and then move on from there so what what do you recommend as a career path and where should where should you look at that see uh, in today's day you can't be a master of uh, everything for mm. uh, especially in our field uh, mm. people used to say when i was studying also they say you should not be uh, um, uh, specialized in one particular thing you should be a jack of friends you should have a um, uh, experience in multi this one and all what mm. i feel initial stages are foundation stage mm. wherein your foundation should be very strong for that mm. reason you have to stick on to one particular thing in, like in my case i selected pastry as my this one i started okay. my career as a pastry then i became a pastry chef then i felt that now i have to move on then i started mm. Uh, looking into the banqueting then i became executive chef here then solely now i i had two units in india so right. it is in that way uh, but patience is much more required for a chef mm, okay, you should okay. have a lot of patience uh, and uh, dedication hard work to definitely uh, to grow in uh, in at least in culinary in the hospitality industry right 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 so what i understand is choose a specialization and then stick to it right what really happens say behind the scenes in the kitchen so what are the kind of uh, things so something that our viewers don't really know about uh this question is quite interesting uh, uh, usually uh, what even i uh, i'll tell you my experience so before joining a hotel management everybody right. feels that hotel management once you do that entering the hotel is a glamour world you right. you try to meet uh, big celebrities you have cricketers coming in you are you are completely your your life is into a, a different mode you are into a media you are into glamour but that's not right. the truth right. you should, um, when you enter you, you re, i mean it is completely like you should have a mental uh, mental pressure is more so you mm. should have a peace of mind to uh, 
to act in further you should have a creative uh, skills in your hand you mm-hmm. should have uh, that uh, uh, to accept the challenges what's happening what's not like example uh, many of the customers feel that uh, you order and you get your dish in this way like some some dishes takes time like mm-hmm. uh, like example if somebody comes and says me i want some lamb chowder in a sordo bread so okay. he was saying uh, i want it 10 minutes or 15 minutes mm. but definitely it takes time uh, mm. the chef behind is running 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 is sweating and running and trying to right. make things so it it uh, copes up with the time this right. the behind the scene but when the when the customer is having that he is delightful he is enjoying the meal that gives a satisfaction for our hard work which we have done mm. so i feel uh, behind us many people think that uh, hotel management uh, working in the hotel is easy or glamorous easy, yeah. glamorous, glamorous. Like, like as you mentioned it was long working hours and yeah. you have to definitely have uh, uh, you don't get family time you don't get weekly offs yeah. when you require <laughs> right. uh, usually when it's a month like christmas or when oh, yeah. december where you have luck it's completely packed and even i i used to come home only to take bath and again go back and uh, <laughs> i i never used to meet my family for 3 4 days and okay. staying the same home oh, so okay, this is okay. all uh, sacrifice you have to do when you are uh, working <laughs> the hospitality sector yeah yeah that's interesting but does, uh, yeah but it's quite enjoyable because uh, if you have a passion for anything you right. enjoy even yeah, if yeah. you're working for 24 hours you enjoy you met a lot of celebrities as well when you were kind of there yeah yeah in my whole uh, this one if i uh, remember uh, yeah. i have met all the indian cricket team i have met uh, many of the film actors including mr amitabh bachchan oh, nice. uh, salman khan uh, aishwarya rai uh, i think a lot of uh, celebrities in which one is mr nana patekar which was quite uh, nice because uh, okay. i was there in the um, as an uh, buffet guide that time working okay. in intercontinental and okay. he just uh, he was there in the restaurant and he wanted uh, dal tadka then okay. um, uh, what dal tadka was there in the um, buffet he did mm-hmm. like that okay. then he called who's a chef please uh, ask him to come and meet me then mm-hmm. i went and i just spoke to him in english and saying hey bhai mere ko aisa angrezi mat sona mere ko halka sa tadka maar ke dal dene ko bol ye log pura foreigner wala bana rahe mere ko aisa nahi chahiye simple uh, roti ke sath dal chahiye uh, then that that was quite touching i mean you feel that okay even though they are into celebrate but they also require a basic food what they are looking for yeah, so, yeah. i mean i i'm just trying to say they didn't want any the fancy names or something he just wanted the basic dal tadka oh, then okay. i made for him and is quite happy for that <laughs> that's it's, amazing it's uh, it's quite what's the best and the worst thing about hospitality industry according to you let's start with the best uh, okay best if you see uh, uh, like uh, you can uh, explore the world okay i mean when we, when i was working for carnival cruise line okay. i had uh, i had an opportunity after my working hours to explore the i was there in uh, i have seen panama canal i have seen miami wow. i have seen alaska i mean this this is an additional benefit you're getting um, uh, more opportunities in uh, different sectors Okay. like for initially they're saying chefs is only restricted to the hotel or something you can come up with the hotels you can go into your nowadays you have a trend with the diet cooking uh, wherein mm. you have um, uh, celebrities who are into uh, f- fitness and all, yeah, uh, all like in a different sort of thing like yeah. keto diet these are so you you can become a chef for that mm. so opportunities are plenty only right. thing you should have a dedication and uh, you you have to be creative and you should upgrade your skills it's not right. that once i have learned that that's the end you should be upgrading based on your trends which is happening in today's world mm-hmm. these are some benefits of um, hospitality industry right. one thing is definitely uh, first thing is you should be ready to uh, uh, get fights from your wife every often a day <laughs> because of not maintaining time or not uh, taking uh, anywhere out right. uh, long working hours Uh, yeah. stressful job um, i mean your mental pressure is more like yeah. in um, like currently when i'm working for airline you have a, a base wage you have a last minute uh, increase you have a flight delay you have a, a sudden uh, due to fog or something the breakfast flight becomes your lunch flight and you no. should be ready to uh, right. ready to be with all the sort of thing here the pressure is more so you should have that patience to um, understand the situation and resolve the problems there right these right, are only right. the few things i feel which are with worst things okay not sort okay. of worst thing it's a negative <laughs> side <laughs> it's a negative side right i let's yeah. not call it worse on that yeah. matter um, the last question before i let you go is who is your favorite chef or uh, top 3 if you had to name i mean worldwide um Uh, so uh, globally if i say golden ram say is a famous one for everyone yeah. I, i admire him and i definitely make him as a mentor no right. for two reasons one is um, i love the way he gives uh, his uh, best thing out of for the staff and right. when i mean i'm saying when you start shouting at the staff i like that <laughs> sort of thing because that that gives you the hell kitchen that gives you uh, do you do uh, that with he, your staff he, yeah definitely i do that i feel very happy we're to doing that even though i'm not angry i have to pretend to be angry uh, 
but i enjoy doing that right, uh, right. second you have uh, like uh, chefs like kunal kapoor sanjeev kapoor who are indian chefs who are uh, like uh, vikas khanna who is globally recognized right. these chefs mislin star chefs and all these are definitely uh, to look upon 